everyone, it's Tammy and it's time to do my plan with me and my Julie Nutting doll planner. This one is the one that's, I don't know how else to say it, but it's just not my favorite kind of planner in the way that you have to put everything on one side, excuse me, side of the week. So I'm going to go ahead and take the page out. This is the week of May 1st. I mean, I like the planner. I love the, the Julie Nutting planner part. I'm just not huge crazy about the, this as, I mean, this is the whole week. That's crazy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write down my stuffs. May 1st through 7th. And this is mostly for like goals and, um, you know, just like plans, things that I know that I have to do, things that I want to get done. Um, I'm going to put comments. On every other day. If I can do that, that makes me happy. If I can do it every day, that's even better, but I don't make myself feel like I have to do that. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this day, I can order Stampin' Up! And I need to do some Etsy feedback. I need to do a favorites video. I still need to pick up my um, my plate that I did at that pottery place. Okay, so once I have it stuff that I know that I need to do that's when I'll go ahead and decorate it and I'm going to use these cute stickers that I got from my friend Audrey thank you very much Audrey I used some stickers from her last week too these like the wings stick up they're just so cute and then I'm also going to use this washi tape that is really cute from Hobby Lobby and unfortunately I can't find it anymore so I'm not going to use a ton of it because I don't want to use it all because <laughs> this is what hoarders do. <laughs> so I think I'll put some here. And then I'm thinking I'm going to separate each day with a little bit of washi. But I'm going to make it like go out certain like different lengths just for fun.
I kind of like that. And then I'm going to take a few of these and put them around. I want to save some for some pocket letters or whatever because these are so cute. So let's see. I think I'll get one of these medium sized ones. Gosh, that is just adorable. That is so cute. And then I'm going to do one of these ones with the polka dots. And I think I might just do three because I really don't want to, not that this is wasting them, but I really don't want to waste them. They're so cute. So cute. I think that I would get more of an appreciation out of them by sharing them and by using them in other things. So, I mean, not that I don't love this, because I do. I think it's really cute. But I think three is enough. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm going to be stingy with these, I can tell you that. Because I love them. That is so cute. All right, I think that's all that I'm going to do for that. So then let's bring this back. To May. Super cute. And I don't know if we want to do our vision board. Let's see, what did we do last time? Oh, I did the me. Didn't do one that time. I did downline, which I think is a great idea, but I'm kind of thinking for this one, let's do something different. Let's do, oh, I had something just a second ago. Happy Mail. I want to do more Happy Mail because I have good intentions, but I'm just not getting it done. Well, hmm. I'm trying to find a piece of paper or something that I can use for down here. You know what? Okay, I'm going to use this. And I have all of these things that I need to put away sitting on my cutting board. So let me cut this down. And I don't know if I need to cut it off. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut it off a little. Because there's literally one person named Shell that I sent Happy Mail to, and she didn't get it. 
And if you're watching, Shell, I am totally apologizing right now to you because it's been crazy how I've told you over and over again that I would resend something, and I have not. And I know that you have said it's not a big deal and that you don't really care, but you have been such a bright light in my comments and all that for so long that I really want to. I really, I feel like I know you. I feel like you're a friend, and I don't know what it is as to why... And some of it, I will say, is my own fault because after I do it, I'm like, well, gosh, now this isn't good enough for her. I need to do something else that's better. And um, so that's part of my problem. That's not the entire problem, but that is part of it where I'm trying to find the perfect thing to send you. And I'm searching for a unicorn that just does not exist. So that is part of my issue, but I need to get something out to you. and I will and hopefully this will help make me do that because I truly want to so hopefully this month shall something will be coming your way I even did that gorgeous girl um, pocket letter with you in mind and then I thought no this isn't good enough for her I, I don't know I want to do something else um, I don't know why I thought that, but that's just the way my mind works sometimes. And then, so I made it to somebody else who I think is great too, but I've been talking to you so much about, I need to send you something. I need to send you something. I want it to be really something really cool. So, I mean, I, I think that people will appreciate the pocket letter that I made. I'm not trying to say it was bad or anything. So the person that gets it, I don't want you to feel like you got something second because that's not at all it. It's just that the way my mind works sometimes, it's so bizarre, like, I know that it is good enough and that, Shell, you would probably love it, but I just, I don't know, I'm very weird when it comes to things like that. So I want to, Happy Mail, I want to send Happy Mail. So what do I need to do to do this? I need to... Make pocket letter. Or I could make a loaded envelope. Or I could make a card, but even that doesn't seem like good enough for some people, which I know is so bizarre. Make card. I could just write a letter. When I'm saying it, I know that it sounds silly, but uh, I just need to get over it. So I need to And I know that there are some gorgeous girls that would love to be used. Prima dolls. Um, Stampin' Up products. I mean, all of it could be used for all of it. Loaded envelope. I love to send the Primas with that. Mm -hmm. 
I know some of these are like across the pond that I need to send them to. And I don't know if that's part of my problem. Um, oh goodness. I know there's more. I have some written down in another list. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to write some more people down. Just do it. Enjoy the process. smile. All right. So hopefully I will look at this and know that I just need to do it. Sometimes that's just what it takes. Just do it. Nike was right. <laughs> Okay, so if any of you guys have I if I have told you that I was going to send you something or if I owe you something, please send me an email. Do not feel embarrassed. I want to make sure that I get something to you and I am going to work on that. And I even have a pen pal thing. I think it's in this one. And I might I'm not really using this as a pin pal because I don't expect something back. That's not the purpose of this, people. This is to send something to you guys because I want to. And I will put it here, and I'm not worried about the received. What I'm worried about is the scent. And I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This isn't exactly what I want because it's, this is more of a pin pal tracker. But I want to include who I've sent stuff to and make sure that I get my list intact and get stuff mailed out because it's been too long for some of you. So, um, heck, Shell maybe has already received the first thing that I sent to her that we thought got lost in the mail. Five years later, here it comes. <laughs> so, yes, please email me at, you know, if, if you have... If you if I owe you something, you know my email address, and it's not a secret anyway, but I, just be honest. If I owe you something, please email me. I'd really love to know, and I will send you something. I promise. So thanks so much, guys. I make cards all the time. I have no excuse not to send them out. So I will get this going. It makes me feel bad. So I am, I'm going to be on a thing, and then I might even make it a... I used to send at least four cards a month was my deal. That was before I started stamping up. And it seems like after I've started stamping up, I've sent less. But I think that's the whole perfection thing. I want it to be so great that you guys are like, oh, wow, look, she sells cards. You can tell she makes, you know. I put too much pressure on myself. So, yes, I'm going to get this done. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. And what's your vision board look like this month? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I put out a video, if you hit the little alarm button next to the subscribe button, after you've subscribed, the alarm button will show. Click that and they will send you a notification every time I send something or post something. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.